What I used was counterculture, medium viscosity, equal parts A and B. I mixed about 12 ounces of paint. I did four cups of about two ounces and then a couple ounces left. I put pinata rich gold alcohol ink into all of the resin just to give it some shimmer and some, instead of just being totally clear. And then I put uh, orange red in one cup orange with a little orange red, orange with yellow, and then the deepest color, which is just very, the hint of it, is the coffee from Let's Resin. The, uh, these are pigment paste, so they're um, just tinted pigment. And um, then the crystals I just got from Amazon and they're um, 4.2 millimeter 10,000 pieces I'll put it in the link below the video so I just sprinkled those around and this is just a thin clear shower curtain I may give it about four hours or so and then I'm going to sculpt it so I'll be back to do that in a little bit <laughs> okay, I made it tight and there's a lip on the bottom of the candle form. So I'm going to have to uh, heat this to remove it, I believe. Hopefully it'll move. This was just a shower curtain, lightweight. So the crystals worked well to um, kind of stop the resin from seeping out past where the, they were. Uh, I thought, I didn't think that it would use as many crystals, but it did putting the popsicle sticks underneath kind of helped it from moving past the crystals so that was kind of a good thing so just checking for any loose ones So with all the crystals I used not quite a bit. This is the only what's left is this little pile right there. So here's looking at it straight on. And there it is from the sides. And I didn't want it even, I wanted it a little, you know, kind of off-centered, so 
the areas were higher and um, I like the way the crystals kind of did their own thing along the edges and made the different shapes. Nothing really stands out that um, not a lot of extra resin floated past us and I think that was because of the big popsicle sticks that were under. And if I have an area I can kind of cut it away with my razor knife since it's not fully cured. It's, it's hard but it won't be fully cured for 48 hours, another 24 hours. But I will show it outside so you can see the full beauty of it. So I hope you enjoyed watching that. This was inspired by Sharon Findlay from England. I follow her and I think she's really a fabulous resin artist and uh, watched her do something kind of similar. So um, go check her channel out. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.